Hello, this is showing the Sherwood Cup wing fold system. So start off with uh, unfolding the wings. My wife is uh, using my own devised you know, rigging checklist. So I would advise that you use the POH as a guide. Here I am removing the wing storage struts. Put one off, just coming around to remove the starboard one. Now going around to remove the port wing locking pin and retainer swing the port wing forward and then uh, locate it with the locking pin and retainer So, as I've just said, open the port window and then put the uh, flap selector to the flaps up position. Yeah, removing the starboard wing locking pin retainer. So basically it's just a pin that goes vertically through the bleeding edge spar which holds it into position. And here I'm swinging the wing forward, putting the pin and retainer in, and then from here I'll be going round reconnecting the port flap control cable. very simple job so as I uh, store the turtle deck uh, inside the aircraft itself I'll uh, come around and collect that I'm just removing the two screws which hold the turtle deck in position There's a turtle deck with the aerial attached. Let's go around and I'll connect it up to the, uh, the lead and then put the two screws in. Uh, now I'm just removing the uh, pipe insulation uh, bits off the uh, aircraft and the pito cover and normally at this point I, I would take the uh, tailwheel trolley out after I've turned the aircraft into position to be able to pull it out onto the airfield uh, left it as it is at the moment 
and of course carry out a full walk round. So there it is, basically rigged, ready to be refuelled and uh, go fly. So, had a bit of a fly around, came back, so now you've got the wing folding. So make sure you've got the tailwheel trolley in position first. And then basically it's uh, removing the turtle deck, disconnecting the aerials. Never mind the lawnmower driving off in the background. And disconnecting aerial. Just putting the screws back into position. And then I stow the turtle deck inside the aircraft so Just be opening up the side window and the doors to get that in. And it's really important after you've done this to make sure that you close the uh, the side window. Otherwise, once you've uh, removed the uh, pins and start swinging the wing back, it would destroy the window. So I'm now opening up the uh, the port window. Disconnect the flap control, so I'll, you'll see me pushing down on the port flap, just so I can release the cable. That means that when I operate the flaps, the, only the starboard flap will go down. Fit the trailing edge protection now, so I'll fit it to the inboard end of the starboard aileron and the inboard end of the port flap and port aileron. So now I'm going to take out the uh, starboard locking pin and retainer. It's easier to push the pin out using a screwdriver. And I just will walk my, my way out to the wing tip just to make sure the wing doesn't fold on its own. And as I move the, the wing back, I just lift the aileron up so it rides over the uh, stays for the tailplane. Put the pins back in again so you don't lose them. Uh, now I'll lean through and use the, the flap operating handle just to put the flap to the second position and I've got to close the door otherwise break the window. Uh, make sure my trailing edge position uh, protection is still in position and I'm now just removing the pin. So walk my way out to the wing tip, hold the aileron up as I move it back. So I put the pin back in before I lose it with its retainer. And then I'll fit the storage struts.
So that's one in. It's a lot nicer in the winter time to be doing it on the concrete than out on the grass. So now I'm going round, I'm just going to check that the, uh, my sort of final check to make sure the, uh, all the master switch and the fuel is off and I'll fit the Peter Static uh, cover on. And that's the aircraft ready to be uh, dragged into the hangar. It's good to have the little trolley under the tailwheel. Takes about six minutes each share uh, to unfold it or to fold it away, which isn't too bad. So just remember, go fly, feel the sky. Thank you for watching.